Welcome, Ross Hardy, Inkjet Cards Technical Support, and we're here to correct what we did wrong in the Suricolor P600 video on firmware modification. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to start the uh, WIC reset program and show you all the details that we kind of messed up on. All right, first thing we want to do, we want to make sure we have software. We want to make sure that we have positive ink levels. We want to make sure we're connected by USB between the computer and the printer. I know you can do it over network. You could probably even do it over Wi-Fi. I don't trust it. We're going to do a firmware modification downgrade on this printer. And I want to make sure we have straight through communications. And I think you should too. <coughs> Excuse me. First thing you want to do is make sure you can print to the printer. You want to make sure there's no jobs in the queue. You've got a USB connection to the printer or a solid network interface. And then what you want to do is make sure that there's nothing running, nothing in the job queue, and then you want to start the WIC reset utility. I'll take you to it. And I'll zoom in for you. So you can see it better. This is the WIC reset utility. What I want to make sure you know is that you see your printer in the left and you see a USB signal or you see a symbol for whatever connection you're going to use. And remember one thing, to do a firmware modification, you're going to click the plus on both of these first. And you're going to click the plus on this. We want the latest firmware versions with disabled ink jet cartridges and it's going to automatically find it when you click the update key here you're going to need a special code you want to highlight one of these and then Firmware with disabled inkjet cartridges and drop this down in default with disabled IC. And then you're going to see that this is highlighted. You're going to click update and you're going to read this note. Selected firmware default with disabled IC. Please make sure the selected firmware is matched to the printer, otherwise, the reset key may be lost continue yes or no and once you do this this is where you're going to put your 15 or 16 character code if you don't have a 15 or 16 character code and it's not a firmware downgrade key or a firmware upgrade key then don't even try to use this function with the other keys for the WIC reset they're separately priced they're different and if you want to reset waste counters or waste tank, that's a totally different function than this. Once you type in that 16-digit code, and it's going to be alphanumeric, you're going to hit the OK button. After that time, you're going to see that it's writing to the printer with a green bar that looks kind of like this, creeping across. You're going to see messages on the screen that are then going to change. And then if you watch the printer interface, you will see that it's done its job. And then when it's complete, it will reboot. Once it reboots and it starts up and you have a ready light, 
then you'll be able to see that your ink levels have gone to full. We made an error in the last video. We had staggered ink levels before we did the firmware upgrade, and I said they were full, but they weren't really. They were off of empty. And that's important that this printer is ready to print something. And before you run this program to reset the key and reset the firmware, you should make sure that this printer is capable of printing, capable of doing the nozzle check through the setup menu, and that no jobs are currently running. It should be in this mode right here with nothing going on with the power light, and you should have full control over it. Now, once you've completed this firmware mod like we've already done, these ink levels will never drop. Not only will they never drop, it doesn't matter what the ink level is in the printer. Nor does it matter what chips are on these cartridges. You could have a totally non-related chip on here, on this cartridge, so that this printer has a cartridge installed, but it's not even the correct chip. The main thing we're after here is you need to maintain these ink levels in these 30 mil carts. The ink levels will never drop, so you need to make sure that these carts are always full. They hold 30 mils, which is a solid fluid ounce, and we don't ever want them to be empty. As long as they're maintained with positive ink levels and you never run one dry, you'll never get air in your tubes, run into your print head, and just do frequent tests. Do frequent nozzle checks, do frequent uh, test prints of various uh, like purge eight charts and so on and so forth and lo and behold guess what's going to happen to you the printer is going to stay healthy you've got positive ink flow you've got good ink levels and you don't have to worry about the chip getting in your way you want to fill all nine cartridges to full right now and run a big print job while you go to lunch go ahead it's not going to run out while you're running that big print job and you don't have to worry about this ink level being near empty anymore. That one right there, near empty and waiting to reset. You don't have to do that. You don't have to pull the cartridges out. The cartridges stay in, so guess what? There's no air ingestion. You just do a much better job with this printer, keeping it healthy without messing around with the ink cartridges. You just need to monitor the ink levels yourself because these levels are going to stay here. Ross Hardy, HF Carts Technical Support. On the firmware modification and the benefits, the important to-dos and don't-dos. Make sure you have a good connection to this printer. Make sure the firmware modification is complete. Make sure you've done everything that you possibly can right, and the job is done. Ross Hardy, Inkjet Cars Technical Support, and we're here to help and support you. Have a great day.